welcome back to A Square Learners. Today we're going to learn about properties of addition. People move around every day. We go to school, parents go to work, etc. And what do we call that? Exactly! It's called commute. Can numbers commute? I mean, move around? Yes! But where? In addition sentence! Here, 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. Now, 4 commutes to where 3 is, and 3 commutes to where 4 is. Ta-da! 3 plus 4 is also equal to 7. So no matter where 4 and 3 commute in the addition sentence, they always make 7. So what do we call when numbers commute without changing the answer? Commutative property! Does commutative property apply only to addition? Nah, it also applies to multiplication. Here, 3 times 2 is equal to 6. And also, 2 times 3 is also equal to 6. Why? Because multiplication is repeated addition. Now let's play a little game. Here we have four clouds. Take away two from this. Ta-da! We have two left over. This is represented as 4 minus 2, which is equal to 2. Now we have two clouds. Can you take away four clouds from this? Practically, no. Because you are still short of two clouds to even take four clouds without any reminder. And that is represented as 2 minus 4, which is equal to minus 2. So, 4 minus 2 and 2 minus 4 is not the same. Hence, subtraction of whole numbers is not commutative. Division of whole numbers is also not commutative because division is repeated subtraction. Why do we have to know these properties? Don't you guys think knowing this makes solving problems easier? Here, 18 plus 75 plus 82 can be written as 18 plus 82 plus 75. 18 plus 82 is 100. And 100 plus 75 is 175. Easy! For more math videos like this, Check the description box below. Don't forget to subscribe if you